where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand. Bangkok has a hustling night of some of the best market shopping and is a Vancouver hotspot. Plus, its historical sites and fabrical and culture make it a well-rounded and fascinating place to visit. The city has some of the most varied, spices and tasty street food I have ever tried. Here is my ultimate bank of travel guide to help you plan your Thailand experience. How to book a hotel in Thailand that I'm showing you now. What to expect in Bangkok? Language. Thai is the local language, although all young people are taught basic English at school and many signs were written in English. Currency. Thai Baht is the local currency. Credit cards and banks. ATMs are common. Why? Most places accept credit cards. It is wise to use cash where to possible as card fraud can be a big problem. Let's talk about climate. Bangkok is hot, humid throughout the year, with average highs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around 70 degrees throughout the year. April is the hottest month. September is the wettest and December is the coldest. The peak season. Rain is the most common between May and October, meaning most winters can between November and April. Culture. It is considered good to eat directly off a pork. It's customary to use a fork to push food onto a spoon and eat from that. Also, be sure to cover up your eyebrows and knees when visiting temples out of respect. Water. Don't drink the tap water. Stick to bottle, please. Now, I am telling you where to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand. Getting around in Bangkok. Getting around Bangkok is easy using the BTS Scryton and elevated train system throughout the city. Keep the rules in mind when planning your itinerary for Bangkok. Sukhumvit. Home to the upmarket business center of the city and many of the most popular nightlife venues. You will also find the best places to shop here. Within Slam square riverside you will find most of the most luxury hotels scattered along the river offering stunning views and a good base to exploring most of the tourist attractions cow sound road this is the back place center in the Bangkok. This is a backpacker central in Bangkok and is home to some popular cheap hotels, area to bars, along with historic bars and for one of the oldest remaining fortifications in the city. Unfortunately, the sky train isn't super accessible from this area, so keep that in mind.
Ratna Kosing, the old town. This is where many of the historic sites of the city are located, including the Grand Place and amazing Buddha statue at Wapo. Siam. During the day, this part of the city is a busy financial district, but at night, it transforms with vibrant and illicit nightlife. You can find great street food here, but you also might encounter some bubbles. The city. The part of the city is where King Rama he built his sprawling Dusit place complex. The district is home to most of the political and administrative buildings of the government along with a wide range of museums and temples. Why to stay in Bangkok? Bangkok has a wide range of accommodations to satisfy any budget. If you are looking for a budget stay, check out hotels, hostels and rentals around Khao San and Bang Lam Ho, where public transportation is as connected in this part of the city. You will find more budget to mid-range. and lots of things to do. If you are looking for a mid-range to luxurious stay, I prefer the neighborhoods of Silom, Sukhumbi or along the river in Bangkok. Here are some of the top hotels in Bangkok and my favorite places to stay. Banyan Tree Bangkok, a luxury hotel at the heart of the city, the Banyan tree has wonderful views from the rooftop restaurant, lecture rooms, an amazing health center, and an outdoor swimming pool with its own and city views. Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, a spectacular lecture hotel and its own gardens, waterfront locations and some tastefully decorated rooms. The Mandarin is Oriental is a top and luxury hotel in Bangkok. Lux Languin Hotel. This modern boutique hotel will fool you into thinking it will break the bank with rooms starting at 50 US dollar per night. You can enjoy all the amenities you need in a sleek and comfortable space. It is also in a great location to walk to some restaurants and some bars, but it is certainly outside of central Bangkok, about a 50 minutes walk. Shangri-La Hotel. This resort offers more amenities, restaurants and services and you could believe situated on Chao Pra River and just a short train ride away from downtown. The Shangri-La Hotel offers a grand and luxurious stay. Oikot Swiss Bank. This modern and bright hotel has a beautiful terrace, garden, and pool area. In addition to super comfy rooms, the view is stunning and the location is perfect for exploring. Plus, they offer a continental breakfast and free Wi Fi. It's high rated for a season.
were to eat in Bangkok. And the uh, Thai night life in today. Bangkok has been voted for the best in the world when it comes to street food. So you have to try some authentic dishes while you are visiting. The best place to grab street food is from the local markets. I rated the street food stalls or join a banquet food pit. If you join your Asian flavors, party and some spice, banquet will have a pit to you. If you see first time in Thailand, I recommend trying some of the classic dishes like Som Tiam, Khao, Swai, Pad Thai, La, Masam and Curry or Penang Curry. I have outlined some of the best restaurants and street food stalls to eat from in Bangkok. Street food stalls. The fast food. With countless food stalls and markets throughout the city, you can come in Bangkok without trying a few of the local flavors. Street food is a huge part of the local culture and something not to be missed. I would be lying if I said I was a bit intimidated by the offerings of street vendors upon arrival in Thailand. This street food guide will provide fast time travelers with some insight into Thai street and culture. Some of the top street food stalls in Bangkok are here. Ran Chal Phai, female owned and the only street food vendor included in the Michelin Star Guide to Bangkok. This place is always busy but worth the wait. Nihom Ring Kong, plan to come outside of lunch hours, otherwise you will be waiting in line for a while. Sukhum with Swai 33, offering super good Thai food at a great prices. This vibrant area of the city is where many locals mix with visitors to grab a bite to eat before eating the town. <laughs> Lampu Chi Thai Strand. Lampu Chi is a highly restaurant. Right along the Kwai Canal, serving delicious Thai food, curries, and more. I love the atmosphere. They are perfect for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Lampo Chi Thai restaurant is my favorite one, Thai and Asian. Pal, the house of Satron. Pali serves modern Thai seafood is one of the Bangkok's iconic landmarks. The house of Satwan, which is a natural heritage building built in 1889. Pali's amazing reviews speak for themselves. Shirapko at Libua. While international and Mediterranean cuisine here is especially tasty. It is a little on the pricer side, especially by Thai standards, but the amazing views is on the 63 third floor, but make this perfect place to enjoy a cocktail or two. Mango tree. Mango tree offers great. Thai food and a full menu of wine, beers, and cocktails just steps from the bustling business district on Silong Road. Plus, the restaurant is surrounded by a great garden of ancient mango trees, making for a special atmosphere. Nangin Ginkui Bangkok Private Dining. 
known by as the best running exploit games in Bangkok. This small and quasi restaurant is a necessity apartment offering some great view reviews. It really feels like you are a guest at a friend's house or for dinner. It's the perfect place to place have an excellent Thai food and meet other travelers. Now I'm telling you how to budget your money in Thailand and Thailand make up to them. to shop and historic establishments to see. Plus, you will find luxurious shaw spas hotels here. If you are into that kind of thing, here are the top things to do when traveling in Bangkok. Chatuchak Weekend Market With over 15,000 stalls with Chatuchak Weekend Market, offers everything from clothing and counterfeit football, shirts to fresh food and souvenirs. It's a great introduction to Thai shopping. Liverpool too. There is no better way to get a full tour of the neighborhoods in Bangkok than by taking one of the various sites in Liverpool tours. Established in 1972, the NCCM of the Siam city is large outdoor museum park shaped to reflect the map of Thailand and has beautiful representations of the country's oldest and most sacred buildings. This is the Thompson House. Home of the greatest American entrepreneur in Thailand from the 1960s, the house of the silk magnet Jim Thompson is now a museum and is surrounded by beautiful nature gardens. Explore Bangkok's parks. The tropical surroundings of Bangkok are ideal for parks and gardens. The Lumhini Park in Siam are the largest in the city. Those around Para Suman Fort also offer a nice escape from the busy atmosphere of the city. Muay Thai The Thai national sports is more than just kickboxing. It is an amazing blend of martial arts and fighting techniques. Muay Thai matches are regularly held in stadiums around the city. There are also classes offered for those looking to learn the basics. Grand Place and Wat Po. After heart of the Bangkok historic attractions, these spectacular buildings show the wealth and privilege and good old Thai kings. It also shows off some of the best agriculture and honored decoration in the country. Take a foot tour. If you let the stomach dictate your travels, there is no better way to explore Bangkok than with a guided foot tour. I can recommend Bangkok nighttime temples, markets, and food tour enough. You will get to taste some of the island's most iconic dishes and experience.
explored the city's vibrant night markets. And with our style cooking class, when most visitors need to just taste the excellent Thai food, they visit to see Amit offers an insight into how to make Thai tasty Thai dishes. She also has a lovely half garden where fresh ingredients are picked for the dishes. Visit the weekend night vintage chain market. This is the best place to find vintage and pre-loved clothing and items in Bangkok. The Road 5 market has everything from antiques to vintage car parts and a great selection of street food stalls. People watch in Suai Cowboy. Some home of the city's bars in the city. This red light district is near Sukumbit Street and has a range of bars and cafes. It's a great place to see the nightlife of the city go by. Bizan visiting the Chatucha Weekend Market in Bangkok. Visiting the Chatucha Weekend Market in Bangkok, Thailand is retail heaven as soon as I walking I just about died from excitement everything you could possibly think of is sold at this market so if you wanna bring some home a little something something definitely planned or coming here I get some mango and sticky rice put on my grave face and got to work here what you need to know about the Chatsukan market in Bangkok. Chatuchok weekend market or Chatuchok market is one of the world's largest weekend markets and covers an area of 35 acres and more than 15,000 booths selling goods from every part of Thailand. The market has covered 2 lakh visitors each day, Saturday Sunday, with 70% being Thai and 30% foreign. Almost everything can be found here at bargaining price, not a tourist price, and most vendors actually come from local factories or are local artisans. If you can jam it up, Chatujak market likely has it. Here you will be amazed at the incredible variety of goods where it's a Thai lantern, an antique painting, a stylish new pair of jeans or something more exotic, a new pet snake. I could not believe my eyes. You could buy a pet squirrel on a string nibble on some fried insects have a local artist and paint everything you want take home a giant goldfish score some new leather sticks i would honestly have an easier time listing things you couldn't find here there were even companies to arrange international shopping for big spenders i had some self-control and left with my denity some trinkets and enough Thai bath to get me through the rest of my stay in Thailand. I highly recommend trying the food mango sticky rice in a particular fave. While it's a bit of maze, enjoy the experience and you're sure to stumble upon some seriously good surprise. 
with 35 records of Little Heaven ahead, I knew I could easily spend a day of three at the market. For the first timers like me, navigating Chatu Chok market some impossible, luckily the supermarket of actions based on category. So you are looking for something in particular you can find with the existing locating on the map. My advice if you're going first time is to get lost. You will be enhanced by the colors and smells surrounding you and your senses will be on their own adventures. Now I am telling you why to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand and how to budget your money in Thailand. As someone raised my frugal parents, I have always then been pretty good at finding a good idea and knowing a fair price. When I see one, I turned on Haggy Wood and spent about 3 hours weaving and bobbing through the cramped aisles of goodies like an experienced gypsy. At one point, I almost caught a case of overstimulation but luckily found the strength to get on. Don't hand immediately head to Chat Chak if it's your first time in Bangalore, Thailand. It's best to do something exploring and price shopping around the city to see what the going rate for a certain goods and what a fair price is. Be wary of overpriced goodies in Bangkok, but also realize that if you are a visitor to this country, respect the culture, recognize that people are trying to make a living and go get your shop on. Take the Skytrain BTS to Mochi station, take exit number 1 and follow the route until you see rows of shade pendles, keep walking and entrance will be on the right. The hours is Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Chatur Market is amazing. Our first time, we did exactly what you say. We lost. We just wandered around. The finally came up on a foot. Nice place. It was perfect. Walk around for sh- our shopping and eating, and then get a foot massage so you can go for another few hours. I'm Simon, California native who left my career in corporate finance to become a world traveler since I've been making these things. I'm telling you where to visit in Thailand, how to book a hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand, and give you tips to spend your money in Thailand, the Thailand budget trip, Thailand budget trip 2003, and Thailand nightlife today. The where destination, destinations, Thailand types of trip, lifestyle, photography, travel shows. The in Thailand, I'm explaining everything to you. Now I'm telling you another things about their cultures and cities and their hobbies, their tastes. Especially I like this with the Kausar Road. Or if you want to spend money, you can spend on Sukhumvit, Suai Three, Suai Chao. Anything you could 
possibly think this so called market so if you want to bring some little something or something definite plan or coming i grab some of the most things in thailand that is jack jack market and a string you don't understand the pain it brings you don't ever want to give me wings you don't ever want to set me free you know i'm addicted to you and it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo got me coming back 